for the market about 70 points higher for the nifty and about 200 points higher on the sensex so this is a positive opening now scaling down a little bit about 50 points 45 points so a little bit of volatility creeping in the bank nifty though as i said is the uh, is front and center in terms of attention today largely because of kotak mahindra bank the bank nifty itself is up about 250 points kotak mahindra bank straight off the back is up about 5% sbi uh, april 18th is when the board will be meeting and they could consider fundraising so sbi is up about 7 tenths of a percent you have a couple of other banks that are also in the green adani uh, enterprises is up about 1% followed by jsw steel which is up about 1% a couple of other names like tata consumer products as well holding in the green and then bharti airtel hero motor corp some names that are looking good bajaj auto adding on some more weight it's had a pretty healthy run uh, bajaj auto so this year it's up almost about 15% now uh, and putting on some more weight on the downside infosys ahead of its earnings this week infosys is a tad bit in the red in fact not just infosys tcs as well is in the red down about half a percent so market is going in a bit nervous into the numbers asian paints is down 3 tenths of a percent and icsi bank is just flat lining ICICI Bank also comes out with its numbers in the next fortnight, so keep an eye out on that. But TCS is your top loser right now. So uh, you know, as Jima was telling us earlier, there is of course this overhang of the CEO transition, as well as uh, you know, perhaps the numbers could be on the weaker side too. But overall, decent opening for the market. You'd have to say 70 points higher, building on to its gains. So now seventh day running. Well, that's right. You know, the opening ticket sell both for the Nifty and the Nifty Bank were bang in the slot, which was the resistance level. So the Nifty is closer to around 17,710. That was the opening. And on the Nifty Bank, from the high of today, we have come off closer to around 200 points. You'd like it to get past that 41,300 because that 41,300 has been a bit of a resistance zone. So let's see how that goes. As Sonia said. Kotak Mahindra Bank, that's the start today. It doesn't have a very large weightage on the Nifty Bank, but that's doing well. That obviously helps the Nifty Bank as well. So let's see how that plays out. A couple of other notable movers, you have Bank of Baroda, as Abhishek told us. The first time they've come out with an operational update, and boy, wasn't it good. The street likes it. The stock is up close to around 3.5%. The PSU banking stocks as well are doing quite well. So a couple of other names uh, that we're looking at, you have Canada Bank, that's up close to around 2.5%, or Union Bank as well was up close to around 2%. So some positive rub-off as well on a couple of other banking names. Uh, you have Glenmark Twins, both Glenmark uh, as well as Glenmark Life. They are in focus because reports indicate that maybe Glenmark is looking to sell that that stake in Glenmark Life and bring down its stake. Remember, that will help in terms of deleveraging. And for Glenmark Life, currently the holding is at around 82%. It needs to come down to around 75% odd. You had operational updates coming in from Kalpatrupa, so that stock opened up well in the green. And IRB as well, quite good in terms of their March toll collection numbers. Both those two stocks, I think, initial tick was in the green. Neogen Chemicals, big uptake. Yesterday, my colleague Vivek gave us a heads up that the potential deal could be announced. And now they have announced that as well. They've got into an agreement with the Japanese company. Deal will help them acquire manufacturing technology license for electrolytes. So that stock is up another 5%. It went uh, you know, into this announcement strong with a gain of around 3%. So in a couple of sessions, it's up close to 10%. And as Rima told us earlier today, LNT Tech Services, the stock is lower because they'll have to pay close to around $10 million to the U.S. Justice uh, Department of Justice. That's to settle visa allegations of underpaying visa fee in prior years. So that stock was down 1.5%. Now it's down close to around half a percent, Rima. Uh, Shilpa Medicare, that's a big mover today. It's gained close to about 7% in trade after the company got the final US FDA nod for a drug which is used in the treatment of active psoriatic arthritis. So Shilpa Medicare is flying off the shelf uh, this uh, morning. Uh, on the losing side, ABB is a bit subdued in trade. That's down nearly 1%. Kotak today downgraded the stock to a reduce from a buy rating. And they're saying the downgrade is largely because of the recent run-up in the stock. ABB, remember, is up nearly 25% since the beginning of the year. Some other mid-caps which, um, you know, catch your attention on the volume charts. You've got Sagar Cements. It's up 10% in trade and it's moved up on pretty good volumes considering only four minutes have transpired. Uh, so that's a stock which, um, you know, uh, warrants some attention. Zomato is higher in trade where Jefferies has allayed some concerns about ESOP costs going forward. So Zomato is up nearly 1%. For the indices, we're up 60 points on the Nifty. The Nifty is now moving towards 17,700. We're closer now to yesterday's intraday high. Let's see whether we can conquer that. The Sensex is open with a gain of 200 points and the banks are outperforming led by Kotak Mahindra Bank and Bank of Baroda. I just want to mention, you know, you said ABB. Uh, yeah. The entire this infrastructure space has been doing really well. So last few days, LNT, for example, has been hitting fresh 52-week highs. 